there be, don't you worry, don't you fret. I'll be there if you get lonely, even though we've never met, we'll start to you go on the pipbuck radio the overmare's reassuring voice is heard we are all feeling this loss but i want to remind every pony that velvet remedy chose to do this she chose to leave her home to abandon us her family she betrayed my trust and she betrayed yours just as she betrayed the trust of the pony who she tricked into removing her pit buck, ensuring we could not find her. I know many of you are angry or hurt. I urge you to direct that anger where it truly belongs. It is then that an encrypted file in Velvet's pit buck catches Little Pep's eye. What the... It's an audio recording. Maybe it's one of Velvet's new songs? The override code for opening the door to Stable 2 is... CMC3BFF The Stable Door Override Code? Where did Velvet get this? And why? I'm not sure what's going on or why, Velvet, but I'm sure of what I'm going to do. The decision was made, there and then, to leave the stable and find Velvet. To leave the stable that no pony had ever left before. Final check. Apples, water, extra stable barding, book of arcane sciences, all set and ready to go. The time arrives. Little Pip, with supplies on hoof and of set mind, faces the massive door that separates stable two from the outside. What stands between Little Pip and the door's control panels are two Earth Pony guards. <clears throat> uh, excuse me, if, if you would let me by. This point is off limits. No exceptions. Here's hoping my little speech is good enough to get me through. I'm a certified stable tech technician. The Overmare has specifically requested that I check that the stable door panel is working correctly. Prove it. Um, uh... Didn't think so. Now beat it, Pipsqueak. Apparently not. Time for plan B. Hey, aren't you the filly who let our velvet get lost outside anyway? Why, yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> and I'm also the one who's gonna bring her back. Oh, Earth Ponies. They never see that levitating something up behind you trick coming. All right, now to business. CMC3BFF. Please work, please work, please work. Stop! I order you to stop this instant, guards! I want every guard pony at stable to door. Stop that filly! Oh, crap. Here goes. It's time. You don't have to do this, little pimp, isn't it? Overmare, I'll bring her back, I promise. No, you won't. If you leave here, you'll never be let back in. There she is. Now or never. I'm not stepping up there. Quick, seal the door. With a hiss and a bang, Stable 2's door closes irrevocably behind Little Pip. Oh, I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> the hallway is filled with the skeletons of ponies that had died desperately trying to get into the stable, as the land of Equestria was burned alive. Celestia's mercy. 
The light of the pip buck lamp reveals a cellar door that leads to the outside world. So the entrance to the outside is cleverly disguised as the door to a humble apple cellar. Because the pony who had built it had been building an apple cellar. Sounds legit. And with that, Little Pip threw open the cellar door and took her first steps into the outside world. Dark! Dark! Oh, it's so dark! I should have thought this through better! Some pony save me! Oh, okay. Okay, okay. G get a hold of yourself, Pip. You can do this. But why do I have to be alone? I hate being all alone. <sighs> it's me from here on out. Mind with the knowledge you've